This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, today we're going to create a talking bot with the help of new chat GPT and Whisper API UPA. Whisper API we're going to use. Now we're going to build a beautiful talking bot. Now the input I going to give us audio file. Uh, I going to speak from my microphone from microphone. What will happen? It's going to this whisper model. It's going to convert into audio to text before going to in depth of details. I going to discuss about what is a whisper model. Okay. A whisper is nothing but your automatic speech recognition system and then it's trained on nearly 6,80,000 hours of multilingual and multitask supervised data can collected from the web applications in the internet you can see so there are so much web applications we have so much of audio files right from the so much of audio files we have collected and then we trained this whisper uh, API model and lack 80,000 hours uh, we have a different multilingual data sets like uh, some audio can be in the language of French it can be German it can be in English okay it can be uh, Australian it can have different accents and then some audio might, might contain so, some noises and then these we are trained all kind of uh, data sets. All data sets is called your audio data sets and then. Okay, uh, in the data sets, uh, it, though it's going to be diverse data sets and then uh, there will be some uh, robustness to accents and then some of the background noises will be there and then some uh, technical uh, language will be there. Some people should be talk something like technically they will speak. Uh, uh, in the audio, this kind of uh, data sets were collected and then we have trained and then uh, the already trained. I am not trained this model. Actually, it's uh, trained by the Open EA community. Uh, recently, they have uh, introduced this Whisper API model. This Whisper API model, like uh, it will converts the audio to text. Moreover, uh, this Whisper API, it, it enables a transcription. Though the audio is in the different languages, it's going to convert, we can able to convert from one language to another language. It can be a French, it can be a, a any a UK accent or any kind of like a Chinese language. We can convert from Chinese language to English language. And then, uh, though I said to you, the Whisper API is going to convert uh, speech to text and then uh, though it's a version 2 model, they are introduced by OpenAI community and then uh, the name they kept as Whisper-1. And then this, this uh, system only supports a uh, file size less than 25 MB. If the audio file is more than 25 MB, it will broken down into various chunks or even less and require uh, and then it uh, will take a more compression formats. Okay, if you are uh, send, uh, giving some huge uh, file size, it will go into compress those files into various file formats. And then next thing I'm going to discuss is so this whisper model works on the transformer architecture though it comes under the chat gpt 3.5 uh, this whisper model only for the speech recognition systems speech recognition systems as well as uh, though it's also a transform model it has having the encoder and decoder blocks in the encoder you will pass input as an audio file it's going to remove all your uh, noise in the background background noise is going to remove and then it's going to fed into the decoder block 
the decoder block is on a trained model and then it's going to extract the text from the audio okay this is what it's going to work and then uh, first i already said to you though you have to split the audio into 25 mb or even less and then uh, you have to fit into the encoder block and then encoder block it's going to remove all kind of uh, it's going to split it's going to uh, remove the background noises and then it's going to split the word in terms of tokens and then we're going to give the decoder block and then decoder block it's going to convert You want to open the admin mode, type command prompt, and then uh, run as administrator. You last four years. In that, you have to apply the first command. Now I going to up upgrade my Python package manager. Iphone U stands for upgrade. Yeah, because uh, though it is up, up to date, like uh, the Python package my version is 23.0.1 and then you have to install some uh, few set of uh, modules. One is a open a module through open a module. You are get, going to get the response as a text, right? For that you have to use a open a module, though it's already uh, we have installed, right? The requirement is already satisfied. Next, uh, we're going to use the Gradio. Gradio is nothing but a user interface. 
is nothing but a user interface uh, one uh, only for demo purposes you can use this gradio uh, you can build a beautiful uh, user interfaces uh, mostly you can use for uh, machine learning models as well as for uh, if you want some apis or for the data science flows you can use this interactive app and then uh, we have uh, various features we have available as well as uh, we, uh, like uh, we can create a text box you can create your uh, um, ready buttons and then uh, you, uh, you should have some various kinds of controls we have like ready buttons check boxes all kind of controlling events we have we can create layouts okay you can create labels all this ui interface things you can do in this gradio it's only for the user interface uh, only for demo purpose you can try this gradio now i want to install the second command pip install open a right now the third one is pip install gradio i want to install this module yeah already it's installed now uh, getting the requirements already satisfied and then fourth one is uh, the module is called pyttsx3 it will convert text to audio okay because uh, though you are uh, chat GPT 3.5 turbo it's going to give the response is text finally I want to convert text into audio for that I require this module you can uh, install the module yeah it's already installed so nothing happened now we're going to use uh, we want to uh, install one more uh, things like uh, FF MPEG this FF MPEG nothing but it wants to read your audio files because uh, for whisper one model you are giving uh, input as your audio right i want to read the audio so that i need this codec i need this codec okay uh, codec name is ffmpeg okay first what you have to do just go to this url and download this Download this binary files. Yeah, it started on downloading the file. This is around 46.8 uh, MB. Uh, you have a set of codecs. Uh, you want to download all the files and then you want to assign the path for this codecs. Then you can be able to read the audio files. Okay, then only uh, Whisper will get the input as an audio file for that you need this codec ffmpeg codec try to cut and then you can place in the program files go to c drive and create one folder create a folder the folder name you can keep it like codex c o d e c s and then paste it after pasting it try to extract the files winrar extract here you can see a set of uh, codecs available in the binary format ffmpeg and ffpro pro and ffplay uh, everyone knows mpeg stands for moving picture expert groups abbreviation is moving picture expert group these are the various products available what you have to do you have to rename your folder name Okay, you have to rename your folder name as show more options, rename, keep only FFMPEG. In the FFMPEG, you can see the list of codecs in the binary files. Just copy the path. Now you have to set the environmental variables for this codex then only it will read your audio files okay whatever you are speaking the microphone that will be saved in terms of audio files if you want to read the
I going to I going to speak from microphone. I going to get the audio, right? I'm going to get the audio. The it will be saved in some file format. Like uh, I going to see some input dot uh, input dot MP3. Keep like this. Uh, this input is going to fit into the Whisper One API. Whisper One API. Uh, the Whisper One API is going to give the text for you. Now the text for you. Text for you. Now the text is fed into at GPT 3.5 Turbo model, Turbo model, and then uh, this Turbo model is going to give the text as a response, text as a response. After getting the text, what I going to do? I going to use this module convert text into audio. Model convert text into audio. This is the implementation I'm going to show now. Text to audio is going to convert. Finally, the input is going to audio. The last result is going to be audio for you. Yeah, I can speak like this. First, uh, I'm going to speak in the microphone. Uh, it's going to uh, say the file as input.mp3. And then the audio is fed into the Whisper One model, and then it's going to give the text whatever is spoken in the audio, right? It's going to give the exact text, and then the exact text will be given to the Chat GPT 3.5 Turbo model. It's one of the lightweight model, and it's very fast and responses. It's giving the uh, it's giving the good response when compared to the previous Chat GPT 3.5 models. And then after getting text response, now I'm going to give the input to the Py Pytt. If it's a SX3 model, it's going to convert text to audio. Now I'm going to show the implementation. Uh, before going to the implementation, what we have to do, we have to log in the Open API. Open API, yeah, platform. That's what it's called. The platform Open API sign up. I'll share the link in Notepad now. In this link, you have to log in platform.openea.com. Sign up. Uh, if you already uh, existing user, you can uh, use a login. Yeah, you can you can do one thing. Just copy this URL and then uh, you can open. Uh, incognito mode in the incognito mode you can be able to open now you can provide your uh, mail id the mail id is python v quantify at gmail.com let's give continue and then the password i'm going to provide password okay just click on the login one again just click on continue and provide the password yeah in the right corner you can see the personal in the personal, you can see view API keys. You can generate your new API key, copy, and then paste it in your Notepad. Plus plus. Now, from here, you can copy this key, and then we have a small snippet of code. Okay. First, I will show the show the demo to you. Afterwards, I will explain the one by one line by line okay now uh, there will be a open a or api key will be there you have to paste the api key what are you have generated right you have to copy and paste the api key now for saving the file you can go to file save us and then you can change the name you can save in desktop 
app the save step will be python file you can save this file in your desktop now what you can do what you can do you can use one folder called machine learning right you can paste this poe file yeah now you can open your uh, command prompt now you start deploying your application python app dot py actually take some time yeah now it's deployed on the local the ip address provided is 127.0.0.7860 port number is 7860 now what you can do you can uh, go to your uh, browser and then you can get the url it's going to build your own talking bot now through microphone i going to record okay the input i going to give us can see here just give hello what is chat gpt after that click on stop recording you can uh, play this input okay this is the input i going to give to my whisper model the whisper model is going to convert audio to text just give submit i am getting the error few minute this conference will now be recorded now i going to ask what is a big data okay now if you want first you have to click on the record from microphone click on the what is big data now you have to stop the recording if you want to see what recording happened you can play the recording okay i am getting the query as what is big data just you have to submit now what will happen this audio is going to the whisper model the whisper model uh, converts audio to text and then text is going to go to the chat gpt 3.0 turbo model Taro model is going to give the response. That response will convert into audio. Now it's giving the response in terms of audio. The audio is will be like in seconds. Yeah, it's giving the entire solution for me. Big data is like uh, we have massive data sets. Okay, I think you can't able to hear the audio, but I can able to. i can able to hear the audio right now okay this is how you can implement your own talking bot now come to the coding part i already said to you i have written a uh, piece of uh, snippet code snippet uh, first you have should have your three modules you should have you have to import this model first one is gradio model this is only for user interface and then the open ai model is going to interact what are the input you are giving right audio input or can text input that's going to hit your model and then it's going to produce the uh, response right for that you should have a open api model in open api model you should have provide the api key 
uh, API key you have to generate from the open a community website um, this uh, AP key will be added up to only 72 hours and then uh, next thing what I have to do I have to use one global variable the global variable is conversation uh, because I want to hold my chat history that's why I mentioned here the command line I want to chat my uh, chat history for that I should have a global uh, variable the global variable name is conversation I want to use the system role okay because I want to store the previous chat histories in my the role system I ought to use a role I should have a system the system is going to hold all my chat histories and then content the default content you can provide anything you can provide you are an intelligent professor, you are an intelligent professor or can give any name you are an intelligent boy okay this is one of the default value we're going to um, give it due to the content key okay this is a global variable and then you have uh, two key and value pairs one key is be a role another key with content the content you can pass any default value okay you are intelligent guy okay and it can pass and then next one is you have to write your function that is called the transcribe function the uh, you can give any name over here but in the transcribe function you want to uh, give the audio as the input audio is the input now uh, and then what i am trying to do here is i am trying uh, whenever i start speaking the microphone that audio will be saved as a dot mp3 format if you want to see where my audio gets saved you can just open your command prompt once you scroll up you can be able to see your audio files this is the part your audio file was created you can see the audio files hold a minute yeah this is the audio file if you go to this location you can see where your audio file is located whatever i spoke in the microphone right that will be stored in terms of audio file hold a minute in terms of audio file remove the slash yeah you can see what's the name audio right yeah you can see these are the various audio given as the file format will be a wav file format now uh what are you speaking microphone convert to audio and then uh, you want to read that audio file right for that you have to use the open function uh, that open should, function should have a read access okay that's why I given rb read access after reading the file I go into store a variable called audio underscore file and then I want to give this audio to my input to the whisper model for that what I am trying to give I am giving this variable name and passing to the whisper one model though it's a version two model okay that they have defined the name as whisper underscore one this transcript function will convert audio to text as well as it adding different features you can convert from one language to another language or you can convert from audio to text we have different features in the transcript function but here we are converting audio to text after converting audio text i am printing printing the transcript if you want to see this uh, this transcript or uh, how it's converted i can show as a json file format you can able to see right yeah this is the response it's giving after doing the transcript it's giving the response in the form of json json file format i can show here you can uh, make it languages go to j make it as json yeah you can see uh i asked uh, what what i asked is what is big data this is a query i given to the whisper one model okay you can see the text is what is big data and then uh, after i stop the recording right it's giving the finish and stop and then i am getting the content from the chat gpt 3.5 model as this is the response i got big data storm is described extremely large data sets and then uh, i analyzed these are the messages i got from the chat gpt 3. So, sorry, chat gpt 3.5 model okay 
this is how you will get the responses for that what i have to do yeah this is the response i got right this is the response i have got okay yeah now what i have to do uh, from, from the transcript it's going to convert convert audio to text you can see here you can see audio to text it's giving we have two JSONs here the one JSON will be the one JSON will be this one okay this transcript function is converting audio to audio to text okay is converted now what I am trying to do here is I am passing transcript of text the transcript of text will be transcript right transcript text will be what is big data what is big data now I am I am appending to the key of content to the key of convent content conversational global variable uh, in the content what I am doing I am feeding the input to this key after that I have to you I, I will get the text right I fed the text as input now uh, this conversation I am going to pass to the chat GPT 3.5 turbo model what the turbo model will do the turbo model is going to give the response the response I have printed here now you can see the response these are the actual response provided by the chat GPT 3.5 turbo model in the content you can get the what are the model is producer results right you get the results okay in order to access this content what you have to do it is in the nested json structure choices it's one of the array and then inside the array it's a zeroth array because index zero right I can write like this choice of zero dot message dot content. This is what I written here. You can see response of I compare like this response of choices of message dot content. Choice of message uh, choices array right zero array from that getting message and then you're getting the content. And then finally, I want to provide the response, provide the response as your audio. For that, what I have to do, I want to use the role of assistant role. And then what are getting the messages from the chat GPT 3 power model, I am going to append in the content of key. Now I will get the new conversation. That conversation, I want to uh, I have a conversation now the entire conversation has converted into a audio file format so I have used this uh, PyTTSX3 model and then I initialize the model and then I am providing the sample I have set various properties first one is sampling rate uh, sampling rate is nothing but number of samples per second because I want to do the samples in the voice right uh, that's why you know 150 as a voice samples and then uh, set property another property is voices I want to get in the English language if you want to get in the French you can put French here if you want to get in Japanese you can put Japanese okay and then finally I want to save the file in the form of what are the messages got right system messages the system messages I am going to convert into a one mp3 file format response.mp3 finally this method is going to give response.mp3 after providing this response what i going to do i going to use the gradio interfaces in the gradio interfaces the first one i want to pass the function name i want to pass the function name transcribe and then input is what are the input i provided right audio input is providing gradio dot audio the source will be microphone source you have to provide as microphone and then type equal to file path it will automatically take your default file path the default file path will be uh, this is a different path okay c user uh, uh, del is my username and an app data local temporary folder it's going to place your uh, it's going to place your uh, audio file 
and then title I kept as Cloudfire AI audio chatbot. Description I kept as ask anything you want in the Cloudfire audio bot and theme I kept as default and the output I need as audio file format. So I given output is equal to audio and then uh, bot dot launch share equal to true. If you need the live URL, then you can provide the share equal to true. It will be live up to for 72 hours, like three days. Okay. Now if you check your, uh, now if you check, now if you check your command prompt, One minute. Yeah. Now, if you check your command prompt, in that uh, it's mentioned like local URL, a public URL. Okay. You can share the URL to your friends. Then you can have some some good experience by creating your talking bots. Just share the URL to anyone, your friends, and then they can uh, pass some inputs. And then they can get the response back. This is how you can create your talking bot. I hope you have got the how to implement the talking bot. Uh, it's a very simple way you can able to create this talking bot by with the help of uh, two models. One is a Whisper One API model. Another one is a Turbo 3.5 ChatGPT model. And then uh, third one you need the Gradio interfaces to test your uh, inputs as well as outputs. Okay, I'm going to sign off the session.